China's first space station will meet a fiery end next year when the 8.5 ton module comes crashing down to Earth amid concerns authorities have lost control of the craft. The Tangong-1 space station was launched in September of 2011 and currently orbits Earth at an altitude of 230 miles or 370 kilometers. But in July, amateur astronomers suggested China had lost control of the satellite after Chinese media reported the country's space agency had struggled to get in contact with the aircraft. Officials have now confirmed that after four and a half years in orbit, the Tangong-1, meaning Heavenly Palace, is expected to plummet to Earth in late 2017. Speaking at a satellite launch for the space station's successor in the Gobi Desert in northern China, Officials from China's manned space program said that the craft had ended its service in March of this year, having comprehensively fulfilled its historical mission. Wu Ping, deputy director of the manned space engineering office, said, based on our calculation and analysis, most parts of the space lab will burn up during the falling. According to Space.com, the less than precise landing time indicates the operators had lost control of the unit as if they were still able to communicate with it. They could steer it to a guided re-entry over an empty stretch of ocean at a specific time. Like other lost satellites, it is likely that the free-falling station will burn up on its way back into Earth's atmosphere and come back down in smaller chunks of molten metal rather than with a big crash. However, some denser engine parts are unlikely to burn up completely and could potentially cause problems on the ground. Harvard astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell told The Guardian the announcement suggested that the doomed craft would now re-enter the Earth's atmosphere naturally, making it near impossible to predict where any debris will fall. Quote, you really can't stir these things, he said, even a couple of days before it re-enters. We probably won't know better than six or seven hours plus or minus when it's going to come down. Not knowing when it's going to come down translates as not knowing where it's going to come down. Unquote. There will be lumps of about 100 kilograms or so, still enough to give you a nasty wallop if it hits you, he added. He said that even small changes in the atmospheric conditions would be enough to nudge the craft from one continent to another. But according to the Chinese news agency, MS Wu said that the space station's re-entry was unlikely to affect aviation activities or cause damage to the ground. China has always highly valued the management of space debris, Wu said. Tangong-2, China's replacement for the space lab, was successfully launched aboard a Long March 2F rocket on the 15th of December from the Satellite Launch Center in Northwest China. This could be a potentially serious situation. Let us know what you think below this video. Will this thing make it all the way to the ground and cause damage or will it simply burn up in the atmosphere? Thanks for watching.